So if you played FIFA 19 yesterday or the day before, you would have seen this glitch where some players look exactly like the image on your screen. And this was a big issue, but I have some good news. The players that actually look like this are going to be getting new faces in the next update that's coming out in November. So I'm going to be telling you the list I have at the moment of some players that are getting new faces. And I hope you do enjoy the video. If you do, hit the thumbs up for me. Let's get to 500 likes. And if you're new around here and you want to see all the new faces when they come out, hit the subscribe button today and the notification bell because I'll be making my compilation video. Also, if you want to buy some real-life Ultimate Team cards to put on your wall of your favorite icons and players, check the link in the description. I have an affiliate link there for you. So I think it's important to provide some context because some people probably don't know what's going on. So this was a glitch yesterday that happened when the game used this little placeholder face on players that were getting real faces in the November update. And you might be wondering why is this glitch telling us who's getting new faces? Well, it's got to do with the database as well. When I checked So FIFA, which is like the FIFA database, all these players that had this glitch were coming up as having real faces. And before the glitch, they were generic faces. So obviously there was something wrong there. Uh, so I think this was a database error by the developers. We've seen this before. You guys remember when they leaked the Bundesliga faces and they haven't put them in the game yet. But because... These uh, faces today that I'm going to show you are from a lot of promoted teams. I am confident that this is the November update. Now, keep in mind that these faces are not in the game yet, so I can't record any real faces. I can only show you the list of faces. So if I could show you the real faces, I would. And also keep in mind that this is a, a list of players that went from generic face to real face. So there is potential for players who already have a real face to have an updated face. But so far, we can only figure out who went from no real face to yes real face. And keep in mind also that there could be more faces coming. This probably isn't the final list. This is just what's been leaked so far. So here is the list of real faces. Now, some of the teams are not updated because I turned off uh, the summer transfer window in the career mode save. So I'll tell you which teams they play for. The first one is from Manchester United, and the player name is Bahui. He's a youngster. He's uh, potentially 76, so not bad. I have done my own Man United career mode, and this guy didn't have a real face. I wish Fred got a real face as well, but... Fred is not in this update, I don't believe. Um, so that's a little bit of a shame. But then we have an, a guy who plays for Middlesbrough, not Wolves. He comes from Wolves on loan, but he plays for Middlesbrough now. He's 72 potential. His name is Bat or Bath, I'm not sure. And then we have a guy from Newcastle named Muto. His potential is 79. And then we have Kimpembe, which is one that I'm excited to see because this guy is a good career mode player. He has a potential of 89. So I'm glad to see him get a real face now. Uh, he plays for PSG. And then we have an Australian player face, Daniel Arzani. He plays for Celtic at the moment on loan from Man City, and his overall is 83. And now we have some of the promoted team faces, starting with Bonatini from Wolves. His potential is 78. Ruben Neves, his potential is 87. Ivan Cavaliero, his potential is 78. João Moutinho, his potential is 81. Coadi or Cody, his potential is 76. Saez, potential of 74. Doherty, potential of 78, Diogo Jota, potential of 86, Ashley Seal, potential of 76, and Bolly with a potential of 80. And now we move on to some of the Fulham player faces, starting with Odoi, potential of 69, Fabrizio, potential of 80, Ayite, potential of 70, Kearney, potential of 80, Seri, potential of 83, this guy looks pretty good as well for career mode, Johansson, potential of 76, Cissé, potential of 73, Sessegnon, potential of 77. Now, this is Steven Sessegnon, not R. Sessegnon. For some reason, R. Sessegnon was not on the database, which probably means he hasn't got a real face. And that is the one that everyone wanted to see, to be honest, and uh, he doesn't have it. So, unless we get surprised, um, so far it's only S. Sessegnon. We have Cabano, who also got a new face. His potential is 73. McDonald, potential of 75. Le Merchand, or something, Le Merchand, 75 potential. Bettinelli potential of 77, and Brian with a potential of 79. The next few are from some random teams around Europe. We have Sanson, who plays for Marseille. His potential is 85. We have Sturaro, who comes from Juventus on loan, currently playing at Sporting. His potential is 79. And then we have Navarro from Watford, who's also getting a real face. His potential is 81. Next up, we have three players from Brighton, starting with Balogun whose potential is 75, Bernardo, whose potential is 80, and Norman, whose potential is 77. And then we have some more promoted team faces for Cardiff City now. And Josh Murphy gets a new face, potential of 76. Patterson, potential of 77. Harris, potential of 68. Morrison, potential of 76. 
Etheridge, potential of 75. Rawls or Rawls, I don't know, potential of 79. Bennett, potential of 72. And Reed with a potential of 78. And lastly, the final player face that we know of so far is from La Liga 2. And his name is Fernandez with a potential of 75. And he plays for La Liga 2 club Rayo Maya de Honda or something like that. So let me know what you think of the player faces list so far. It's pretty much what we expected. There's a lot of Premier League promoted teams in there. I was disappointed not to see the La Liga promoted team faces though. Hopefully that doesn't mean that they're not being included in November. I'm not sure what's going to happen until we actually get the update. We'll have to wait and see. But just keep in mind that this is probably not the whole list. There's probably a few other players that have got real faces now. This is all that we know of so far. This was what got leaked based on the glitch. And in terms of when this is coming out, it's hard to say at the moment because I thought it was going to be coming out with the latest uh, title update that's coming out to FIFA 19 this week. And the PC people got it yesterday. The ones who downloaded it told me that there's no real faces that have been added yet. And just in case you don't know, there is a FIFA 19 update coming out this week for consoles. Yesterday it came out for the PC. So I'm going to spend the next half of the video talking about what they've fixed. And I'm not going to read all the dot points because half of them don't make sense to me. But we're going to start with the most important stuff. So you can now make changes to your game plans in the pause menu during a match. And it says changes made to your game plans during a match will not be saved after completion of that match. So this is still under gameplay changes and it says the following issues were addressed for volleys where the player fully leaves the ground during the kick such as a bicycle kick. Some players were incorrectly taking these kicks without meeting the agility attribute requirements to do these kicks and to further explain the above these types of kicks can happen in appropriate situations for players who have an agility attribute of 80 or higher or who have the flare trait without the player having to hold down the flare shot button. And in regards to bicycle kicks, it also says these kicks are now more likely to be impacted by error, resulting in potentially less accuracy, speed, and spin. And it says the above effect will be more noticeable in situations where executing one of these kicks would be very hard, and less noticeable in situations where executing one of these kicks would be easier. So there's also a few more gameplay fixes. It says rarely keepers were not picking up the ball when it was close to them. Rarely, keepers were trapping the ball outside of the box despite an attacking player being near them instead of clearing the ball. Rarely, when the keeper was rushing out of the net, you were unable to take control of him using the move keeper controls. Rarely, after positioning your keeper with move keeper controls, the keeper would dive out of the way of the incoming shot. Rarely, keepers were not picking up the ball after knocking it down with a tip down save. When taking a goal kick where the target for the kick is very far down the field, the ball was traveling too fast and players will no longer wait to take a throw in due to the keeper being out of position. We move on to some career mode fixes and it says sometimes the game would hang after checking the mail inbox immediately after the transfer window deadline day ended. Some traits had a blank icon on the attributes panel of the squad hub and the playmaker global transfer network scouting instruction no longer has the CPU AI only tag on it. It also says that the EFL Championship Trophy is now being presented in the final match of the EFL Championship Cup. In terms of visuals and presentation, it says they've made the following changes. Your opponent in an online match will no longer be able to skip your goal replays. Um, there's updates to a number of team kits as well. There's updates to the Nike black cat boots. And there's an update to the stadium art for the Sidbank Pokalan tournament. I think there was a heavy focus on goalkeeper fixes for this title update and we have some more goalkeeper fixes as well. It says rarely keepers after making a save would warp into the net so they fixed that. Rarely when the keeper was making a save close to the 18 yard line or the byline they would perform a slow animation while getting up when it was not appropriate. So here are some more little changes that they've made now. Rarely the keeper would start to dive in one direction to make a save and would instead animate as diving in the other direction. Sometimes a player would remain suspended in the air for a prolonged period of time following a mid-air collision. The scoreboard in the Olympia Stadion had the crests assigned to the wrong scores, corrected an issue with the stadium art in Signal Iduna Park. Sometimes the crowd would be missing assets like flags or cell phones during crowd shots, corrected the trophy displaying in the uh, third league playoffs, I think that's the German third league, and some boots were clipping into the player's socks and into the grass. So in terms of audio fixes, they've addressed the following issues. Audio corruption could be heard during matches on PC. They've updated the introduction audio for the DFB Pokal. And the away team in the UEFA Champions League group stage match was getting audio saying that they won the second match, even if they lost, if they had won their first group match. So those are the audio fixes. The main fixes for FIFA Ultimate Team are the following. 
Your opponent's foot club established date will no longer be displayed. Your opponent's foot club name and squad name will no longer be displayed. Your opponent's online ID will no longer be displayed on the screen with one exception. You will still be able to see your opponent's online ID if you use the list members button, which we are working to remove in a future title update when available. So it looks like for people that play foot rivals, they've tried to stop the player dodging, I think that's what they call it. So those were the main things that the update fixed, but if you go on the EA website, you can read the full notes for it. In terms of when this update comes to consoles, I think by Friday we should have it. In terms of the player faces, I don't think we're going to get them this week. I think we'll have to wait a few more weeks, but I could be wrong. So if you need something else to watch, make sure you click the card right now. It will take you to my first episode of FIFA 20, Things We Want to See. And that's basically it. If you want to watch another FIFA 19 video, hit the thumbnail on your screen, and I'll see you next time.